consider yourself as a risk taker, an adventurer, or somebody who actually likes to keep, keep safe play, do do things that are safe or something like that. An adventurer for sure. Yeah, so you'll definitely are in for a good time at this conference, and we hope you have a productive day. Thank you so much. Here we are. So, uh, Shahriar, is this your first time attending a CASA conference? Theme. Our theme here today says beyond prudence. So it's about taking risks, it's about going out of the boundaries. What do you think about it? What do you think you're going to do? It's a good experience because uh, we will learn about new experiences and new businesses to start with. That's wonderful. It's going to give you a lot of ideas about different opportunities outside your career of CA. So what do you consider yourself? A safe player or a risk taker? A risk taker. Right, then you're in for a very good time today and we hope you have a productive day. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello, what's your name? Sara Mukhtar. Sara Mukhtar. So Sara, is this your first time attending yes. a CASA conference? Yes. Right. Have you heard of our theme? It's beyond prudence. So, you know, prudence we've done in accounting, but in literal terms it actually means going out of the bounds. It's basically going out of your comfort zone, breaking the boundaries and doing something that's different. So, what do you think about it? What do you think you're going to learn today? And do you consider yourself a person who's going to take risks or are you a safe player? No, I am a risk taker definitely. Anything alongside CA in which you've taken risks or basically done something out of the ordinary? Yes, definitely in my personal life I've taken many risks. believe the conference will be an addition to your personal development? Yes, definitely, why not? It will be. So we hope you have a productive time. Right, Majid. Is this your first time attending a CASA conference? And uh, what do you think about our theme? It's basically beyond prudence. It's going out of the bounds. It's doing something that's outside the ordinary. So what do you think about it? And what are you, what are you expecting from today? I think that uh, This is your first time attending a CASA conference. Yeah. Right, so uh, our theme for today is Beyond Prudence, which is like going out of the ordinary, doing something that's different. Uh, so alongside and besides your CA career, do you think that there's something in your life that you've gone out of your comfort zone, you've taken adventures, and you've done something that's different? Yeah, uh, recently I've attended a SAFA conference uh, that was arranged in Sri Lanka. Yeah, it was a conference on common nonsense and uncommon sense. It was organized in Colombo. And I was there participating and I was presenting by Ford Roads and also ICAP. So I have very good adventures moments there and we have a very good memory. That's wonderful. We also have a panel discussion today for the CASA representatives. So we hope you have a wonderful time. Thank you. Uh, may I know your name? Uh, I'm Noraz Kiri. Right. right. So uh, have you attended a CASA conference before? Actually, it's my first time. You're from Nepal, uh, Institute of Startup Accounts. Yeah, yeah. So you're from Institute of Startup Accounts of Nepal. Yes. Uh, what has your experience in Pakistan been so far, and what are you expecting from our event today? Actually, you know, uh, right after the beginning, we arrived at the airport. It was we, we got very warm welcome for that. We'd like to extend our heartly gratitude to well, all these guys. It's always a pleasure. No, it's always blessing to receive such a grand reception, and we really having a very good time here. Right. So, uh, sir, our topic for today, our theme basically is beyond prudence. Sure. It's actually going out of the ordinary, doing something that's different. So, you know, we're all CA students and uh, professionals. Besides that, in our personal life, do you think you've done something that's out of the ordinary? Would you consider yourself a risk taker? I would consider myself a risk taker because, you know, every time in every steps, besides having our professional life, professional career, we do have our social life. We have uh, some responsibility towards the society. So since society is expecting a lot of things from the young generations, I would always you know, prefer to take the risk and go for, uh, go for any kind of activities. That's great. That can completely be agreed upon. So we hope you have a wonderful and productive time today and good luck for the panel discussion that you have. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I am Pragati Bhuai, representing Institute of Chara Accountants of Nepal, Aika. Uh, what do you uh, consider or what do you uh, understand by this theme? 
uh, your students. Yes, SC Mission already is uh, doing something different. You know, he's doing like we have been doing something normally, yes, with the norms, within the values, right? But it means doing something extra, but it doesn't mean breaking those rules and values. So what um, do you consider yourself, a risk taker or a snake player? Sorry, question please. What do you consider yourself, a risk taker or a safe player? Rick Stecker. So you're in for a treat today because we have lots of speakers today. You're going to experience a very good side and we hope you have a wonderful experience today and all the days that you're spending here in our country. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much for the hospitality that you have sought. We feel it's really all, very overwhelmed. It's thank always you. a pleasure. Thank you for visiting us and honoring our institute. Thank you. Thank you so much. May I know your name? My name is Orban Rimal. Uh, I'm representing Institute of Sard Accountants of Nepal. And I'm at Kemp. First of all, we welcome you and we thank you for coming and representing, uh, uh, honoring our institute. Uh, you know our theme for today, it's beyond prudence. So what do you think? What comes to your mind when you think of it? And would you consider yourself a risk taker? Yeah, obviously I'm a risk taker. And uh, when you talk about beyond prudence, you should know what is prudence. Prudence is, uh, uh, guiding, prudence is guided by wisdom, intelligence, and insight. But beyond prudence is following your hearts. Exactly. That's, I think, the perfect definition that you could give there. So, good luck for the panel discussion. We hope you have a wonderful time today and I hope the day is productive. Yeah, I do hope that and I would like to thank for your uh, warm reception and all these uh, facilities that you have given. That's wonderful. It's always a pleasure. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the CASA Conference 2018. My name is Dua. And my name is Barber, and we'll be your host for the first session. Let's take a flashback to our first accounts class. Do you remember studying about the concept of prudence? Now, if I remember correctly, prudence is about taking, ca being cautious, avoiding unnecessary risks and all that. But do you remember the definition of overprudence? No? Well, that's because we never studied it. And yet, somehow, unfortunately, we became the definition of it. How often do you come across a chartered accountant who's also an artist, a musician, or even an entrepreneur? For years, we've been sitting behind desks, but we feel there's a void. Our work limited to numbers, but the real question is, how do we fill it? And that's exactly what we're here to find out today. Ladies and gentlemen, let's formally proceed with the, uh, formally commence with the proceedings with the recitation of the Holy Quran, followed by the National Anthem. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم In the name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful. الحمد لله رب العالمين Praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds. الرحمن الرحيم The beneficent, the merciful. مالك يوم Owner of the Day of Judgment. Thee alone we worship, thee alone we ask for help. Show us the straight path. The path of those whom thou hast favored, not the path of those who earn thine anger, nor of those who go astray.
of the conference and its team, working as a partner in EVI and a member of the Southern Regional Committee with almost 18 years of professional experience, please welcome Chairman Kasa, Mr. Salan Khalid. Assalamu alaikum, good morning, dear students, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm very happy to see uh, a lot of participation in this conference today, which is organized by the Southern Regional Committee of ICAP with CASA. And I think as many of you may be aware, CASA is an organization which is run by the students of Chartered Accountancy. And it is run by the elected member of the students. It is an organization which is, has set up this conference for you today with a theme beyond prudence. And I welcome, a very welcome to all of you to this theme and the conference. The prudence is uh, the term which is associated with the accountants for last many, many years. And uh, now, with the changes that are happening in the economic environment around us, the businesses are evolving. The accounting profession has no choice but to change itself to meet the needs of the future. The way that technology is influencing our lifestyles, the way that technology is influencing our working environments is something which actually causes a lot of changes from us as accountants. And we actually have organized this conference with this theme to, to, uh, to debate that what changes are required in our role as accountants, what we need to do to be prepared for the future. And you as the future of the profession, need to understand that what is the journey that you need to take from now to the time that you shape the new profession for us. Uh, this conference is organized uh, in a way that we have uh, a lot of knowledgeable speakers today who will speak to you, share experiences, views. We, the speakers are not only accountants, but they are people who are HR experts also from learning and development areas, people actually like photographers, etc., who can share with you their journey, the entrepreneurship that they actually uh, uh, have experienced over time, and uh, which is a non-conventional role they have taken away from the profession, and what were their experiences in doing that work. Then we have uh, some very insightful panel discussions for you, uh, the two on the topics of inter entrepreneurship versus the employment and the other on the theme of this conference. So it was a full day uh, with lots of debates and discussions, and I hope you find the day uh, very, very productive, very, very insightful, and you enjoy the conference. With that, thank you so much. Again, very well, warm welcome to the conference. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome, serving as country leader, audit and insurance in our EY Ford Roads. He has also served as a member of the SRC and a CPD convener, honorary secretary, and its chairman. He has also served as the chairman of Accounting Standards Committee and Examinations Committee. With a big round of applause, the president, ICAP, Mr. Riyaz Rahman Chamdia. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Good morning, ladies and respected members of SRC, council colleagues, my vice president, Farooq Rahman, uh, members of our ICAP fraternity, and my dear students, good morning and assalamu alaikum. On behalf of the Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan, it is indeed my pleasure to be here the occasion of CASA Conference 2018. I would like to extend my heartiest felicitations to all the members of CASA and Southern Regional Committee who have organized this magnificent uh, event for you. It is certainly their dedication and hard work and enthusiasm that makes it possible and as I see this organization or association, CASA, 
is growing day by day and particularly in the last four or five years. This even reminds me my golden days when I joined as one of you 30 years back. And also reminds me my recent speech at the CASA conference of the Indian Institute in Pune, where there were around 3,000 students were there. So uh, today's uh, conference theme, Beyond Prudence, is it's very important. And, and, and you must be aware of that every human has abundance of virtue, talent, and qualities gifted by the Creator, the Almighty Allah. Now, the most important thing and the challenge would be to explore in your heart and soul and carve away the obstacles and the surrounding rocks to unleash and set it free. Just like Michael Angelo, who used to do when he was creating his masterpieces. He used to say, in every block of marble, I see a statue shaped and perfect in attitude and action. My job is only to heave away the rough walls until I set him free. So in my opinion, the theme of the today's conference, Beyond Prudence, is very meaningful encouraging and powerful for all of us, particularly our, our youth and our young generation who are aspiring to become a chartered accountant, because you are the future leaders of the profession. It delivers the message that we must never be complacent with uh, mediocrity. Indeed, we should always try to excel in, 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 our, in our job while we are studying or we are working as a professional chartered accountant to, to identify our true talent in pursuit of the excellence. Prudence is the intellectual uh, virtue which rightly directs our acts towards a good end and wisdom dwells with prudence. Prudence is concerned with the quest of truth and fills us with the desire of fuller knowledge. Remember one thing that the only prudence is, is in life is concentration. Concentration while you study, concentration while you doing your job as a professional accountant. You have to utilize your mind to the fullest extent, polish your skills so, so that uh, you, uh, you, 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 you achieve the excellence whatever you are doing and in shaping your life as well. So do not allow any circumstances or environment to restrict your dreams. Always dream high, you can achieve anything, whatever you want, that's my belief. Le so learning, evolution and success do not at any, uh, end at any stage of life. We must all strive to improve and excel no matter which pathway we choose, which profession we choose and which branch of the profession we choose. Always look for the opportunities that hide behind the adversities because I believe that there is always another way of looking at the world. We must continue with the endeavors to build a strong charter accountancy profession and we need to inculcate the culture and the spirit of excellence within our fold to make an enduring impact. Ultimately, with this spirit and culture, we will energize our young, talented CA community, a community that you and I are part of, to power our quest 